it's Lisa welcome back to my channel and today we're going to continue on with my declutter series so today we're doing face powders and now I have two categories of face powders we're only going to be doing depending on how long it takes we may only be doing one so let's just go there but my two types are like my loose setting powders and then I have like what I use as finishing powders, like my number seven, or let's say like um, my Charlotte Tilbury, things like that. So I keep them separated that way because when I shop my stash, I pull one of each. I pull my loose and then I pull a setting because I will powder my entire face down with a loose powder. Then usually by the time I'm done and I've used my setting spray a couple of times, I then go over my um t-zone pretty much with the finishing powder or i'll use a finishing powder on the outer edges of my face if it's a glowy one so with that being said this is a category that i may not get rid of anything um and i may get rid of one and i may get rid of ten so just keep that in mind this is my loose powders right here so I have a lot, but not a ton compared to how many of other items that I have in other categories. So I've got my other um, storage unit sitting here. And as I go through, if I'm going to keep them, I'm going to put them down in this drawer. If I'm going to get rid of them, I'm going to set them here on my desk. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with my Peach Perfect because this is in my shop, my stash this week or this month. This is going nowhere. Well, I have a uh, backup upon back, backup of this powder. It is my favorite, and I think they're discontinuing it. So every time it went on sale, I purchased one or two. Because this powder blurs everything when it goes on. I don't know if there are other um, powder in the, in the Too Faced line. The Born This Way is this good. I've never tried it. But man, this one is amazing. So I'm putting that back over here because it's in my shop, my stash for the month. The next one is this Derma Blend Professional Loose Setting Powder. It's a decent powder. I like it. Um, it's in the color Original, which is just translucent. I'm going to keep this and use it up, but I don't see myself repurchasing this ever. So there's that. I also have the Pretty Vulgar Powder. This one is also another good one that really blurs the pores and things when you put it on. And I like it. Mine is in um, Mad About It. It's called the Powder Room Mad About It Translucent Setting Powder. So I will not be getting rid of this one either. It just has the regular sifter like that in it. Um, my powders are usually a mess, so keep that in mind. I also have the I Love Revolution powder. Mine is in coconut. This is a pretty decent powder, and I think it was only like five, six bucks. Um, I'm not going to go out of my way to repurchase this again once it's used, but I'm not going to say I won't ever repurchase it because it's a decent powder, and I do like it, so I am keeping that. Another one that is only about $5 that is amazing. This is the Drugstore Dupe for the Peach Perfect, in my opinion. And that is the Wet n' Wild, uh, the Photo Focus. And it comes in a huge container. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see how much is in here. 0.70 ounces or 20 grams. And in the Peach Perfect, oh, it's more. It's just a smaller uh, container. It's at 1.23 ounces, 35 grams. Wow, I'm shocked at that. But anyway, this one is like $5. I already have a back of it, backup of it in my um, backup storage over here. So this is something that I will keep on hand as long as they continue to make it always. I am keeping that one. Here's one I am going to declutter. I just recently tried this one and uh, did not like it. And that is the one size. I just have a sample or a mini size here. 
Um, I do not like this powder. That doesn't mean that it's not good. It's just not good for me and my skin. Um, so I'm going to let that go and hopefully uh, give that to somebody that will enjoy it. Another drugstore that I think is comparable to the Laura Mercier is the Fit Me by Maybelline. Mine is in 05 Fair Claire. I have went through a hundred of these probably, and I do have another one in my backup ready to go when this one is out. This one is going to be another one that I will always want to keep in my collection, and it again is five or six dollars. It's very good. Um, this one I got from J-Cat, and it's in the color Porcelain. It is a good powder. I just hate, hate the packaging on it. I'm sure you guys have seen these or used these before. It's got the um, little powder lid on it. And, I, you know, I like everybody else like to put it in my lid and put, dip my sponge in so it's not big enough. So what I normally do is I'll put it, shake it out on a mixing palette or something like that and use it that way. I am going to continue to keep this because it is a decent powder, but I don't know that I will repurchase this or not because I do not like the packaging. Um, if I decide to repurpose one of my empty um, powder things that I can pour this into, maybe. But for right now, that's what it's in. Another one that I am going to be decluttering, and it's not because it's bad. This is the Smooth Minerals from Avon, and it's in Transparent M01. I'm going to get rid of this for several reasons. Number one... I had to absolutely break the top to get it to come out because it was just this little thing here that you push the button in and such, I mean, it was just horrible. I hated it. Um, while this powder is really pretty and looks nice on the face, I have had this powder, guys, probably for 15 years, I guess. I don't know. I used to wear Avon a lot. And the majority of my makeup was either Avon or Alme. So, this has got to go. It's old. The next one that I have is the Becca. Um, this is the uh, Hydra Mist. I'm about out of this, if you can see right there. I'm trying to use this up because I know that they are either already out of business or going out of business. So... This is a great powder. The only thing that I do not like about it is it's got this, that mesh. When that mesh is good until it gets so far down and then you can't hardly get it. So I just cut the mesh out and use it that way. But I am going to keep this and use it up. Won't be repurchasing because you can't. The dupe for that, if you do love that and are upset because you're not going to be able to get it anymore, a dupe for that is the Hard Candy Chilling Wonder Power Powder, and it's in hydrating. Um, it goes on translucent. This is uh, very inexpensive. I think it was either five or ten dollars. It's just got the regular sifter, like most. <laughs> I'm in a cloud of powder here, um, and it's it's a decent powder. So I am going to keep this and continue using it. My next one that I have is um, Ciate, and it is the Extraordinary Translucent Powder. This is another good one. Sorry, I don't mean to blind you. Um, I will be continuing to keep it. I'm about halfway through this one. I like it. I don't know if I'd go out of my way to repurchase this or not, but I am going to use this up. And it's not because it's a bad powder. It's just that I have others that I love. The next one is another Ciate, and it is the Everyday Vacay. I do like this one better than this one. Um, I don't really know what the differences are between them, but there is a, a little bit of a difference. I can tell. But, um, I mean, the packaging looks the same. I'll accept the stars is on one and nothing's on the other. But I am going to keep both of these and continue to work through them. How I ended up with both, I think I bought one and BoxyCharm sent one. 
Another really good powder that is newer to my collection is the Haley's Retouch Soft Focus Setting Powder. A lot of people talk about this as being amazing and they can't believe how blurring it is. I didn't notice it being that amazing and it may be because I'm so used to the blurring that the Peach Perfect does and that um, Wet n Wild that this is good but it's not as good. I'm going to continue to work through it and see what I think. But so far, I feel like if you compare this and this, this is way better. But this is better than most. So there's that. Another one that I like, I just hate the packaging, is the Flower Beauty. Um, this is the Miracle Matte. First off, this thing is so hard to get off, okay? And once you do get it off, it's got a sifter in there, but the powder is all around here. It is just awful packaging. And it's got groove, a groove cut out for it to set down in, and you can't never hardly get them to line up. See, look at this. I can't get it to shut back again. When I'm using it, when I shop my stash and use it, I generally just leave it open because I don't want to deal with opening and closing it. It is a great powder, and it blurs your soul. I would say this is very comparable to the Peach Perfect as well. But, man alive, this packaging. Another one that's newer to my collection, and I have to say it seems to be okay. I don't notice anything blowing, away, blowing me away about it. That is the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Powder. Mine is in Translucent 916. I don't think I'll repurchase it, but I'm going to use it up. Um, I have the uh, Beauty Bakery Better No, Better no Bitter, Not Bitter Flower uh, Setting Powder. This one is a pretty good one I like. Mine is in Oat Translucent. Again, I don't think I would repurchase it, but I will be using it up because it is a nice powder. This is the Catrice Baking and Setting Loose Powder. It comes in a square packaging, kind of like the Fit Me Powder does, um, or the Huda Powder. So you open it up, and it has the little protective lid that you take up, and then it's got the mesh. Um, again, for a cheaper powder, this is a really good powder. It is a white powder, so I do not know if it does flashback. I have not tested that. Um, I've only used this a couple of times. But what I do like about this is it claims to be water resistant. And I will be testing that at some point. I'm going to do a full face of all my water resistant makeup. And then go to the pool and see how it stand, holds up. But um, I am going to keep this. Another tried and true that I have a backup of in my stash and that I will always keep in my collection is the original Cody Airspun, and mine is in Naturally Neutral. Again, this makes your skin look beautiful. It is so nice. It's like $5.96. The smell of it does not bother me. It's not that horrible. It doesn't last. The smell, that is, it doesn't last, so... I'm here for it. I love this powder. And this sucker, you get 65 grams, 2.3 ounces. So, um, you get a lot. This will be one that I always, always come back to. I love it. So, it's not going... Another mini that I have is the Laura Mercier. Um, there's so much powder in these. It takes forever to use. I don't really see why you need to buy a big one unless it's during a Sephora sale. I decided to try it whenever there wasn't a sale going on. So I do like it. Do I think that you have to have it? No, because like I said, I think that um, um, the Fit Me Powder is a great dupe for this. So uh, save your money and just go to Walmart and get the Fit Me. But I will be using that up. Now, another favorite of mine that I will be repurchasing because I think this is what's going to replace my Peach Perfect when I do run out. And that is the Huda Beauty. And I use the color Pound Cake. It is scented. And it's like a perfume scent. 
So if scents bother you, this is not for you. It does have the mesh, but I can just cut that out. I love the scent. I think it smells so good. I would like a perfume in that, actually. But smells are not for everybody. But this is going to be my replacer for this because this is so good. So good. So this is not going anywhere either. And that is all of my powders. I actually did end up decluttering two. It's all of my loose powders, rather. So, if you'll hold on a second, I think I am going to go ahead and get my pressed powders or my finishing powders, and we'll go ahead and go through those. Hold on. Okay, guys. And another loose powder that I do have that was not in that, and it's because I've got everything in a basket ready to do a video. I do have a loose powder from uh, Shop Miss A, and it's the AOA Studio one. So, um... Uh, you'll know what if what I think about it whenever we do the video. So, all right. Um, this is I don't know why I have this separate tray in here, but it's not needed. So let me pull that out. Okay. So this is my finishing powders. As you can see, I don't have a ton. Let me get the two that I keep over here in my little basket on my desk for under eyes and stuff like that if I need it. <sighs> okay. Now, I have the very first one on here. Let me open my drawer up to put these down in if I'm going to keep them. So the very first one is the Brighten Up, Brighten Up Luminous Powder by Jaclyn Hill. I love this powder. Love, love, love. It is so pretty. I cannot even tell you. That's the color of it. It just makes the skin look beautiful. And it does have that luminous quality to it. You see that? I just love it. My skin looks so good when I use this. So this is one that as long as I can continue to get it from her, I will repurchase over and over. This was actually the packaging and, the, and everything that came in her original, like the Christmas launch, I think it was. Um, but I do know that she has re-brought this back out with all those other highlighters that she does. So that's fabulous. So that one's going nowhere. Another one is my Bacon Blot by Makeup Revolution. I love this powder. What I use it for is I take my sponge, my Blendiful from Tati. As you can see, it's dirty. You can see the powders all over it. I like to take it and just dip it right in. And then I'll go right underneath the eye. And you see how that just brightens right underneath the eye? This powder is so good for that. That just brought my under eyes back to life right there. I love it. So this is going nowhere. I'm going to put it back in my basket over here. Another one that I have is from Hourglass. This is the Diffused Light. Um, I also like this one under my eyes to set my concealer with. As you can tell, I've dug in. This is just a mini. I don't see the reason to buy a big one. This mini lasts me for a long, long time. So that's going nowhere. Another one that I have is from Catrice. It is the Glow Illusion Loose Powder. This also looks beautiful on the skin. A lot of my setting powders or my finished powders are going to be glowy because I love that glowy look. But this is a drugstore alternative to that one from Jaclyn Hill or the um, NYX High Glass uh, Finishing Powder is also an alternative. I do know that they are discontinuing this. I do not know, know if they'll bring it back in a different launch or whatever, but it is pretty. I have, they went on sale and I think I bought three or four of them, so I'll have this for a minute, but that's what it looks like. It is so pretty. See that glow? 
gorgeous so I'm keeping both of those I have my Mac uh, studio fix powder I know this is a foundation but I use it as a setting powder mine is in NC 20 I'll be keeping this I also have my bare minerals I've got a matte side and a glowy side I love this this glowy side over here is so pretty and the matte side is really good too so and I do not get flashback on these so I'm keeping that um, this is just a cover girl clean and fresh press powder I do like this for my t-zone uh, and it's really good it's really finely milled so you get uh, a good set down and it doesn't uh, change the color of my foundation or anything so I like that keeping that this is a uh, goodie but an oldie it's not a this is a newer one to me but it is a old uh, product that everybody use mine's in 100 transparent and that is the Rimmel stay matte I will keep this or one of these forever in my collection that is it right there swatched out again it's finely milled and soft and it does set your face down and it blurs so I will be keeping that <clears throat> so I have my number seven uh, lift and illuminate triple action finishing powder mine is in the color light I'll be keeping this and it is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury um, powder they are very similar in consistency and the way they look so that is the Charlotte Tilbury there's the number seven on this finger they look almost identical they feel identical too so save your money and just get the number seven another pressed powder that I love is the elf flawless finishing powder um, this one I just used to set my t-zone uh, mine is in the color because um, this is a color light so you do get a little bit of color on your foundation I like to use this one if I'm using a foundation that's a little bit too light for me. So, that is a really good one. Um, this one from Santi, it's a mineral compact. I'm going to let it go. It has been a good one, and it's very finely milled. But I have had this for so long that it's just time to part ways with it. So, I'm going to let that one go. I have another one from MAC, and this is the Light Mineralized Skin Finish. It is more of a glowy powder than the other one was. So my hands are going to be so dry from all these powders. I'm keeping that. Here's another one from JCAD in that same formula, only this one is the Pearl Luminizer. Let me show you how pretty this is. But again, I hate the packaging. Look at that. That could even be concentrated and used as a highlight instead of just uh, a glowy face powder but I love this I just hate the packaging so I'm keeping it I also have a Ciate watermelon burst setting powder this is actually nice it's very white I haven't ever got flashback from it you want to talk about finely milled this is the finest milled of all the powders that I have so I'm keeping that I also have Laura Mercier in Candle Glow. I love this powder. It is so pretty. Um, I bought this because of Allie Glines. Loved this powder and said that I needed it in my life. So I got it. <clears throat> I also have, and I know one of these are busted, I have the Makeup Revolution Radiance Palette. Uh... This one is busted, but I still use it. If you can get your hands on this, I recommend this 10 out of 10 because it is a dupe for 
the hourglass uh, dim light in the, in, or the ambient setting powders. This uh, trio that's been around for a while. It is a good dupe. And, I mean, they look identical to one another. So, both of those are staying in my collection. I have a little mini here from Manicadar Beauty. I have used and used and used this powder. And it just never, ever gets used up. I have hit pan on it. But it's a very pretty powder. But I am tired of trying to pan that. So, I am taking this out of my collection, actually. I have this one from AOA. It is a powder foundation, is what it is, actually. I don't like it, so it's going bye-bye. I don't like it for a setting powder or a finishing powder. Um, I also have my Essence Matte um, Compact Powder. As you can see, I've hit pan on this. I love this powder. It's gone nowhere. And lastly, and the reason I saved this for last is because I've been sitting here trying to figure out what I was going to do with this. I'm not going to get rid of it simply because I feel like I paid a million dollars for it. But that is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder, and mine is in 1N Neutral. You guys know how I feel about this. I, I wasn't the biggest fan. I feel like you have to force your way into this pan to get anything, I mean, you've seen how I've pressed. My pinky is clean. It's almost like it hits hard pan all of a sudden. Wait a minute. Let me do this one. So this is my finger. It's almost like it hits hard pan right away. I mean, you have to really run your hand in there to get anything. And this might be good for somebody that just needs a light setting. But for me, it's a no dog. I'm gonna try to use this sucker up just because I've used or I spent the money on it, but I will not be repurchasing that. That is all of my powders, both loose and uh, finishing powder. I keep saying loose and finishing, but so all together I got rid of one, two, three, four, five powders. So that's not bad. I'm proud of myself. So, guys, that is it for today's video. Please subscribe. If you're not, hit that notification bell so that you will know every time I upload a video. I try to upload two to three times a week, usually. And give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let me know if you are enjoying this declutter. Next, I think we'll be going through... Um, I don't know what we're going to be going through. Probably bronzers, maybe. I don't know. We're getting into the fun stuff now, so uh, I think we're gonna. I'm gonna do the face products first, and then do the eyeshadow palettes. I know that's what everybody's waiting for, is the eyeshadow palettes. But we've got a lot of categories still yet to come. We've got eyebrows, concealers, my lip products are going to be a long one. I don't know if I'm gonna try to separate it out into two videos or do glosses. And lipsticks. I'd like to just do them all and go through it, but it's going to be a long one. My eyeshadow palettes will probably have to be cut into two, maybe three videos. Yeah. But anyways, I hope you guys are here for it. I'm here for it. I'm ready to get my collection cleaned up, get my room cleaned up. It is, it's not horrible, but I'm feeling kind of, you know, so I need to re- adjust. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. God bless.